we've had numerous reports of an outbreak of disorder in parts of the East Leicester and dispersal powers and stop search powers uh, have been authorised. Do not get involved, we are calling for calm. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. A lot's been coming out of what's going on in Leicester and let's face it, it will only escalate because we know Indians are very influential. The CEO of Microsoft, of Google, of Adobe and even quite possibly the next Prime Minister was almost going to be an Indian as well. So we know they got leverage. On the other hand, Muslims or Pakistanis I wouldn't say as much but nevertheless the news is trying to make it out to be like what's going on in Leicester is an issue with both sides like they've done with Palestine and Israel but I'm here to tell you if you have been following the news that is absolutely not the case. The next thing that they said was this has started towards the end of August cricket match again completely false that's not true this started in May when a 19 year old Muslim male was jumped by 30 Hindu extremists after the cricket match then they went out again marching and then as you can see from the footage they were shouting slogans of Jai Shri Ram long live Rama or Rama will prevail yeah. now this is synonymous with their cries and this is synonymous with their chants in India when they're oppressing the minorities as well Can see why this is concerning also. <laughs> now what were they doing? Were they marching peacefully? Were they meditating? Were they doing yoga? Were they eating vegetarian food and showing how peaceful and loving they are? No, they were throwing bottles. Sky News mentioned it but Sky News didn't mention who was doing it. They stay neutral mate, yeah they stay neutral. So the bottle throwing missed the police by inches. You could also see footage of extreme Hindus going armed with weapons and the police are doing absolutely nothing. Come on, look, got a weapon in his hand and you're allowing it. Man's got a weapon and you're allowing it. I'm not going to say nothing because there was one occasion in which somebody, I'm assuming it's somebody from our side, took down a flag. Oh no. No, this is, this is, this is, this is going beyond limits, mate. Throwing bottles is one thing. Jumping one guy with 30 members is another thing but taking down a flag this needs to be investigated and this is exactly what you'll see being mentioned in the news. So the Hindu and Jain community leaders rather than acknowledging the extremist spill from India and the BJP and RSS movement rather than acknowledging that they're trying to make it seem like this is the start the Muslims are instigating something what absolute nonsense yeah in fact let me read this yeah they're saying stuff like we won't tolerate such aggression what so you're gonna tolerate the other aggression we will get to the bottom of this march well are you not going to get to the causes of the march because it was only after this whole cricket thing and the bottle throwing and all that that the Muslims then got together and started marching but unfortunately and sadly this is where the media goes yes look at these Muslims it rains look at these Muslims your child eats a crayon look at these Muslims it does need to be said that the mosques, some people are saying that mosques are being attacked but we know from TRT news that's not the case. Don't share information that's not the case and get people unnecessarily riled up. Mashallah obviously I'm not there, I'm in Sunday Pakistan but the people that are there, Muhammad Hijab and Ali Da'wa, they went there and rather than being appreciated, subhanallah, I was appalled to see how they were treated. I was appalled to see that they were being called clout chasers. They were told, you know what, you're just here to get clout. Subhanallah, I've been talking about the India thing for time, for time and I've been hoping for other people to join in I've been, and I've been mentioning that if you don't deal with the hate, hate does not discriminate and it will spill over. Check my previous videos. Now you've got brothers with big followings that want to cover this story and you're trying to say this is our issue. A'udhu Billah. We really need to be united in this. The more, the merrier, frankly. So the brothers that are now there that are involved, guys, please be sensible. It's easy for you to be a bad man and then do something that is silly. 
I mean, you know, look, self-defense on one thing, but going out and get, taking that roadman mentality, they don't care about all that. They're not going to film the violence of the Hindus. They're going to film your violence and your reaction. So you guys have to be smart. You have to be intelligent about this. And please don't make this worse. Play the game. Do what you got to do. Help the Muslims. Use reasonable force and all that. But guys, please do not do anything inappropriate. I'll see you guys next time, inshallah. From what you've seen from the Muslim community so far in terms of the protests, etc. What, what, what would... It's, what would it's been peaceful, yeah? Assalamu alaikum.